You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speak in my mind now. A queen is a king to be by her side. Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we have some cleaning motivation coming up. So on this day, I had picked up some groceries. If you have not yet seen that grocery haul, definitely go check it out. I give you guys a little bit of a tour of my fridge, my pantry, and my freezer. I think that would interest some of you guys. I know I kind of like being nosy like that and seeing what is in other people's fridges and pantries and all of the above. So I thought that would be fun. Change it up a little bit, but if you haven't seen that already, definitely go check it out. It is my newest video before this one. Um, but anyway, after I get all the groceries put away, I am going to move into the bedroom and get everything cleaned up and started in there. start in the bedroom when I'm doing some major cleaning. Um, my kids were out of school last week for spring break and so I didn't get my you know real life. I, I just didn't get around to getting our laundry done um, or our bedding done. Not the laundry but our bedding. Um, I didn't get it washed. We had some other things going on which I kind of explained that in um, I think a couple videos back but anyway so it's just time the kiddos went back to school and it's time to get this house just taken care of picked up and refreshed and clean so we're gonna go ahead and start here in the bedroom i i don't know i either start in the kitchen or the bedroom when it comes to cleaning it just kind of helps what keeps me or gets me motivated if i start in one of those two rooms so um but my main focus was definitely my bedroom and the bathroom today and then we also um, I had a few, quite a few things on my list. Unfortunately, I only conquered a few, but that's okay. Um, you know, getting done what you can get done is what's best, not necessarily doing it all. So don't ever be hard on yourself. Give yourself grace, especially when you got a lot of things going on, like we all do. Um, but anyway, I did want to go ahead and start by just getting my laundry and everything put in, um, or the bedding. I said, I don't know why I keep saying laundry. <laughs> I'm getting my sheets washed. So while those are washing though, I wanted to make my coffee and I realized that I was out of creamer. So I do make my own creamer. It's super easy. It is just a can of cream in, um, or cream. Oh, what is this called? sweetened condensed milk oh my goodness brain fart <laughs> um and then i used two cups of milk and you can use whatever milk you'd like i use skim fat free milk um because that is what we drink that's what we have on hand but you could totally use like even half and half it kind of just makes it a little bit more creamy um d you know anywhere of uh, whatever milk you would like so anyway it's a can of sweetened condensed milk two cups of 
milk and then um, a teaspoon of vanilla extract my favorite vanilla extract is the what the Madagascar one I picked it up at Walmart but they no longer carry it I actually initially saw it at like a home goods and then I found it in the baking section um, during the holidays at my local Walmart I do want to get into making my own vanilla uh, extract if any of you guys do that help your girl out leave a comment down below and you know or a link of where to buy the best um, vanilla beans so because I really kind of want to try to get into that I've really been getting into kind of you know just kind of making your own things from scratch I kind of like this creamer for instance um, you know I know it's not necessarily healthy but it's better than like all the vegetable oil and all that in the ones at the store so I'm trying it's a little give and take you know what I mean but anyway this will last me all week um, if not just a little bit longer I think I get probably about eight coffees or so um, out of this one batch of creamer so I just put a little bit of creamer in and then I do a lot of milk and then I put my espresso in there um, and then I just add ice. It's the best. It tastes so good and your girl is one to follow um, a routine and this is definitely part of my routine to make this coffee every morning and then I make it with toast, usually peanut butter, and then I eat a banana while I'm at it. So... <laughs> Um, anyway guys, now we're gonna go ahead and just move on back into the bedroom after getting my coffee. I just needed a little bit of a pick-me-up. Um, so we're gonna get on to getting this room dusted. This is very dark furniture. I love my furniture. I was struggling a bit not that long ago on it, I know, um, but I love, I do really love this furniture. It's good, solid uh, furniture, actually from Ashley Furniture, which I don't recommend for couches, but this bedroom set is amazing. They do still sell it. I've had ours for well over 10 years, um, but it's just held up really well, and so... I also found this um, dusting spray, which you guys told me is not new. It's been around for ages. I did not know that. I cannot think of the name of it um, for the life of me at the moment. But anyway, it is absolutely amazing and I love it. And it just brings out the natural shine, you know, after the stain and all that. But um, anyway, we're just going to go ahead and finish up a dusting before we move on to the next project. My thoughts for no given reason None at all No, it's not the way I plan No, it's not the way I want it No, it's not the things I meant Know that I'm not being honest Not the way I want it I still make sense I, I just wanna be the one who Face the heat and maybe make a promise And make it through all our flaws, all our flaws All our flaws, all our flaws All our flaws, all our flaws All our flaws Hey, you better make it work have a perfume problem <laughs> um i need like a perfume anonymous <laughs> or something i literally i don't know i have always loved perfume i have always wanted to make sure i smell good you know all of the things um when i was in nursing school and when i worked as a cna it literally killed me not being able to wear perfume 
because I know, you know, um, you're around a lot of uh, patients and residents at the nursing home and stuff like that that can't handle the smells of perfume. And your girl loves smelly things. If you guys have been around a while, you know, like I love candles and all the things that make my house just smell amazing. Um, which I have recently made the switch from um, like the Bath and Body Works candles to a soy candle company. Um, it's Antique Candle Co. I think is what it's called. Um, but they make the best smelling candles and they are soy with a natural wick. So um, anyway, my point being though, I absolutely love perfumes. Um, and I have gone down a rabbit hole of buying perfume at uh, like TJ Maxx and stuff like that. So I have like so many and I don't know what to do with them. I have them on my dresser right now, but I'm like, I'm so worried that they're going to like spill and eat the varnish off of my dresser. I don't know what to do about it. So you guys are going to have to, you know, if you have any storage ideas for your perfumes or even like your husband's colognes or whatever, uh, your girl needs help. I think I've seen where they have like the little clear shelves and they hang them in the bathroom. I think that is a really cute idea and I love, I actually really love that idea, but our bathroom walls are not your normal, um, uh, drywall. Like I think they used cement board for the entire bathroom because <laughs> the, the walls are hard. They are solid. Um, when we even tried to hang hooks up in the bathroom, like it, it was hard to drill into. So I don't know if I want to hang shelves in there or not. Um, I do have a little bit of space on the wall in the bedroom. I kind of thought about doing something there, but I don't know. I, I haven't fully decided what I'm going to do with all my perfumes, but I really need to figure something out. <coughs> Another thing I neglected with this last week of chaos and spring break and everything going on um, was our bathroom. Uh, I I usually like to wipe down the bathroom at least once a week. Um, I did get a deep cleaning in not that long ago, so it's still doing pretty good as far as deep cleaning goes, like in the shower and that. Uh, but it just needed, you know, the dust wiped down, the toilet cleaned, the inside of the toilet, you know, everything wiped down. It just needed a good wipe down. <laughs> I don't know. How many times can I say wipe down, you guys? Goodness gracious. But it just needed to be done. I, uh, it, it was a mess. Your girl sheds like crazy, which actually, if you didn't know, it's actually very normal to lose, um, on average a hundred hairs per day. You can even lose like two or 300 hairs a day. And it's actually pretty normal. And your girl definitely does. <laughs> My hair is literally all over this bathroom. It is so crazy. So I definitely needed to get that all taken care of. Um, but while I was cleaning out the sink, I did notice there was some hard water built up on the faucet. My husband, I actually lo love this faucet. My husband's the one that actually picked it out, but I hate the fact that hard water gets built up into like the little spigot there. It, because one, it looks terrible. And then I try, you know, I have to scrub it out and it's a whole ordeal cleaning this thing. But I love using this pink stuff for hard water. So if you guys have some like calcium buildup uh, from your hard water, definitely try using the pink stuff to scrub it out. It, this stuff works amazingly. And I love this little Rubbermaid tool because it just makes things so much easier. I have carpal tunnel, so sometimes like scrubbing things gets really hard to work with. And so that little Rubbermaid tool, it's like an electric toothbrush. 
but it works so well using the pink stuff and that on the hard water um, buildup and it just wipes it or scrubs it right away. Going back to the yummy smelling house or amazing smelling house, not necessarily yummy. Sometimes I like more of like musk scents as opposed to like your sweeter scents. Musk, floral type scents are what I love. And you guys, I have come across so aromi aromi i think is what that's called but i actually go on pinterest and i search like um scents or like oil mixes and stuff and right now i am absolutely loving mixing patchouli frankincense and um eucalyptus in my my diffuser it smells uh, amazing so if you kind of like i don't know my kids and my husband call it like the <laughs> an old person home if you like that kind of scent, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that they're totally a fan, but it smells good to me. And I'm the one that is here all day and has to smell it. So I absolutely love the scent of it mixed together. And I'm so excited because I finally found, I love Aromi oils. Like I have tried other oils, um, plant therapy, I think. I've tried even cheap ones like at home goods and stuff like that. And I just cannot. I don't like them as much as I like their Romy ones. I also like the ones that are at uh, Disney Springs. There's a little store in Disney Springs that sells uh, essential oils. So if you guys, I don't, I can't remember what that store is called, but their oils are absolutely amazing. And then their Romy ones are my favorite. Um, and they're actually a lot more affordable than the ones at Disney Springs. They're like a half to a third of the price. Um, but... I was so excited because I finally found a clove one. Uh, I actually found it on Walmart's website, which because we're plus members, I was able to have it shipped to me for free, which I was so thankful for. I think I paid like $5 for this oil, um, but it smells so good. So I've been trying to find like some scent ideas on Pinterest using clove. I, I just love the smell of clove. I love the taste of it, like in your spice drops, um, or even they have spiced jelly beans. Did you know that? Um, but they had them out for Easter and there was a clove one in there and I absolutely love it. So I'm super excited to find some scents to mix together with the new clove oil. If you guys have any ideas, leave them down in the comments come chat with me share your ideas tell me how everything's going in life i love talking to you guys so anyway back to the essential oils if you have any ideas on scents to mix together that you think i would like again i like kind of florally musky type scents drop a note down in the comments guys leave give your girl some help here
Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold And they're gold, you see What do you got so take a chance The area that got completely neglected over spring break Is my son's bedroom It was a hot mess I was like, holy crap, holy <laughs> Your boy, you need some help. Mom's mom's gonna help you out here because it it was quite the mess. And I know sometimes you know it's super easy to let things get out of control. And so I thought I would just go ahead and help him out. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and start by stripping his bed and getting those linens washed. He usually he actually washes his sheets quite often. Um, so. But they they needed washed. They 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 were kind of stinky. <laughs> so while those are in the wash, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of his room just kind of picked up. I honestly, it, he had sheets like everywhere. I folded them for him and put them on the chair so he could put them away, and he didn't. And so I was like, I don't know if these are clean. I don't know what's dirty. And I actually ended up just washing. I washed literally six loads of his stuff the other day when I when I filmed this video. I was like actually extremely annoyed <laughs> because here in a minute you'll see I'm gonna go into his closet and I was like oh my goodness like what is going on here? I've learned although he we, you know we're very much we are trying to raise very independent children you know who isn't and um <laughs> You know, we try to teach them to do their own laundry, to make sure that they're folding and putting everything away. And I usually make him like sit in the living room and fold all his clothes and do all that. Well, for, you know, like I said, it's been spring break. And so it hasn't been being done as great. I haven't been watching him do that that great. I, I know, shame on me. But anyway, so... When I got in his closet, I was like, oh my goodness, boy, what are you doing here? I did not know what was clean. I did not know what was dirty. So I just, everything that was on the floor in the laundry baskets, I just put it all together. I And I took it out to the garage to wash it. So, because uh, our, our laundry is in the garage, if you didn't know. <laughs> it's not in its own laundry room. We don't have a laundry room here, which I absolutely hate. I miss my laundry room, but that's okay. It is what it is. The price you pay to live... <laughs> In, in paradise, I guess. I don't know. Because I know there are houses that have laundry rooms inside, like our neighbor across the street does. <laughs> but anyway, off topic, I, I'm just... Uh, I, I could not believe. I was like, oh my goodness. I could not believe how much laundry this boy had for me to wash this day. But also, if you didn't notice, I did take out the recliner. Um, that was actually my mom's recliner when she passed. I kept that chair. It is actually, it's a lazy boy. It's a leather lazy boy. Um, it is very nice and it has kept, my mom has been gone for just over 10 years. It was 10 years in December and this chair has, I mean, it is a great chair. Lazy boy makes, they know how to make a recliner. I will, I will tell you what, they know how to make a recliner. And when we first moved down here, I was going to put the recliner in the living room and I was going to get a couch to kind of match it and kind of have it all together like that. But then I ended up thinking that I wanted something different and I went with something different. And basically, long story short, I hate our couch. You guys know that if you guys have been around for a while. And so... I wasn't really wanting to get rid of this chair. However, it's staying in his room. You know, he's a little boy. He sits in it. Um, pencil marks, all the things. It was being banged up against the wall. So there's like some rub marks on the back of it. So I did move it out of his room because, I don't know, I, I would like to use it in our living room. And right now it is in the living room. But it is like taking up so much room with the way... Our couch is set up, but I can't really turn it anyway, so I don't know. I don't want to get rid of the chair. I'd rather get rid of the couch that I paid for and keep the chair that was my mom's because it's such a nice chair compared to our couch. And to replace that chair, it would actually cost more to replace it than to just, than what our couch costs. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the chair, you guys. He really liked it. He sat in it to read his Bible and do his reading time for school and all that. But 
I don't know. I'm just going to, for now, leave that swinging chair in there for him. It is what it is. But also, you guys, I wanted to let you guys know some of the videos that I do have coming up. This week we have, um, I'm going to introduce you to our new pet. I'm so excited for that and set up their habitat and all that with you guys. I I never thought in my life I would get this, this pet. Um... But I've been wanting a new pet lately, or recently. Uh, we really were trying to actually go for a dog. I really would love to have a have a Doberman, um, but that guy, <laughs> those puppies around here for Dobermans are at least two thousand dollars, and your girl doesn't want to spend that much money on a dog right now because then, you know, in addition to that, you also have to pay to get it uh, spayed or neutered and all its shots and all all the things. So, um. Anyway, so a dog was a little bit out of the price range, so we were thinking about other things that we could get, and we ended up with this pet, and we didn't end up with just one, we ended up with two, but they are the cutest little things ever, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys, so I hope you'll come back for that, um, and then I also have, um, we are going shopping this week, you guys, not groceries, we are headed to at home, and I cannot wait, because they have all their new summer stuff out, um, which speaking of summer stuff, I'm going to be, I did pick up some stuff at, at home and I cannot wait to get that all set up and out in the backyard. We are going to be doing, redoing, redoing, not really doing, redoing. We haven't done anything in our backyard yet, but we're going to be doing something out there, which I cannot wait to show you guys that either. So that'll be coming up. Lots of cleaning motivation, you know, all the things, guys. So I hope that you guys will subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate every single one of you that are subscribed and that have stayed around. Y'all, you know, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys. So anyway, um, again, oh, here's the closet. <laughs> disaster you guys i could not believe it and i will say that i did do some spot cleaning as you saw i kind of just picked some stuff up i moved all the clothes out um but you're not going to see me make his bed and you're not going to see me fold his laundry because i did wash all that but i did make him do that um you know, typically he does that anyway. He's well, he's supposed to. And so I didn't want to, you know, be like, oh, you're going to let your room get like this. Mom's going to take care of everything. Mom will take care of some of it, but you still are responsible for other stuff as well. So just so you guys are, you know, you know, the, the full story, I guess, if you will. But anyway, guys, um, I do hope you guys will stick around to the end. There's just a couple more minutes left here, but if you haven't already, definitely hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like, share it with your friends and family. All of that stuff is free to do, and it helps the YouTube algorithm uh, know that you guys are liking my videos, and they will push it out to more people. So I absolutely appreciate every single one of you. I hope you will come back for more content. I hope you all stay happy and healthy and safe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.
me Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby 